Welcome. In a previous video, I set up QSync Central on a QNAP NAS, and then I set up the client on a Mac and on a PC. And I'll put a link in the description of my QNAP playlist where you can find those videos. I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to be setting up the QSync client on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, and this is running on an Intel NUC. So I've logged into my QTS interface, and I'll click here on QSync Central. And typically you see under overview here, you'll see Windows and Mac. It doesn't have the Ubuntu version on here. So what I'll do is I'll open up a new tab and I'll just search for QNAP QSync Client Ubuntu. And then I'll go to the second link here. It says QNAP English Utilities Essentials. I'll scroll down. There's QFinder Pro. There's QNAP Cloud Connect. And here's QSync. And we have Ubuntu here. So I'll click on this and I'll say save file, I'll hit OK, and that will download it to my downloads folder. So I'll minimize this, I'll open up a terminal, and I'll go to my downloads folder, I'll type CD downloads, I'll clear my screen, and then I'll type LS space L, and I'll type Q, nap, and I'll, I'll just type Q and then hit tab and this uh, came up. So now I'll type sudo space dpkg space dash I, and I'll type QN and then tab. To tab complete that, I'll hit enter. It says the computer must restart to complete the QSync installation. Before restarting, please save all your open files and close all programs. Do you want to restart now? So I'll hit yes. Okay, so QSync has started up. It says select your region. We have two choices here. We have global and China. I'll choose global, I'll hit apply. And now we have this like quick start guide. It talks about the different tasks you can do with QSync. I'll hit next. It says it has this little uh, tab up here on the menu bar. Looks like I can't click that quite yet. I'll hit next. And it has smart delete. This allows you to delete devices on your client and it won't delete them on the QNAP NAS. So this would be nice if you're running out of disk space on your computer, you can sync them up to the NAS and then leave them there and you can retrieve them later if needed. I'll hit next. You can also access your files with File Station. I'll click finish. It's going to search for the NAS. So I'll click search NAS here. I'll say via LAN. It found it pretty quick. I'll select it and hit select. I'll type in my username and password. You can choose secure login HTTPS. So you're going to want to do that if you're over the internet. I don't think I have that set up yet. So I'll leave that unchecked. But if you're doing this over the internet, you definitely want that checked. And it says automatically select the best connection method and assign a name to identify this computer. So I'll leave that as is. I'll hit apply. It says select folders to sync. So here it has home.qsync. And in the Linux world, when you see this dot file, it means it's hidden. So this is where it stores it on the NAS itself. And then on my local machine, you have home slash rick slash qsync. So I want to do the default here. I'll hit finish. So it's connected up. It should download a couple files here. Okay, it says two files were added to the qsync folder. So I can close this here. I'll open up the file folder here. And I'll look for the qsync folder. I'll open that. And then I'll drag this test file into it. So if I click the icon up here, I was trying to single click, but you actually have to double click this and it will open up and we can see it synced up the test file reflections and the new rich text document I just put on there. So these are the recently changed files. So if I go back to a browser, I can go back to the QNAP NAS. If I go to QSync Central here and click under devices, we'll see this device showing up now. So we have the Ubuntu RIC. If I try to click on the edit settings icon, it says this isn't supported by QSync for this device. So the QSync client on Linux is probably not as up to date as the one on Mac and Windows. If we go to event logs here, we'll see the uh, log here. We have the Ubuntu RIC where it said we started syncing and stuff. So we can close that down. If we go into file station, we can see the home directory, but we're not going to see that hidden file there because it's mapped it over here on the left to this QSync. So if we go to QSync here, we're going to see test file. We can open that up right here. So that's a basic setup of QSync on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.